This week, we head to a galaxy far, far away, also known as Hollywood Studios, to see the latest Star Wars attractions. And then we try some treats at the new Carlos Bakery. We'll also have the latest theme park news and more coming at you right, right now. now. brought to you by MEI Travel, our preferred travel agent for Disney World, Universal, cruises, and all your vacation planning needs. For a free quote with no obligation, visit MEITravel.com. Undercover Tourist is our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Florida and California theme parks and attractions. For the best deals and planning tips, go to UndercoverTourist.com or find them on Facebook and Twitter. Fun Spot America is Central Florida's only family-owned theme park, offering two locations, Orlando and Kissimmee, both theme parks provide safe, clean fun. For more information, visit fun-spot.com. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the show. I'm Banks. And I'm Elisa. Time is almost here. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Yep, the holidays are here. No, I was talking about Star Wars. That too. Comes out tomorrow! <laughs> Star Wars Episode 7. I've been waiting for this since uh, Disney bought Lucasfilm years ago and now it's finally here. Yep, I'll be there 8 o'clock. To, uh, on tonight, on Thursday night, yep. right? Yeah, I'll be the 7 o'clock tonight for the special Walt Disney World party that they're doing for the screening uh, for the movie, and then we're going to Hollywood Studios. You can follow us on Twitter at Attractions to see all the fun stuff that is going to probably be happening. Yeah. I'm hearing a lot of cool rumors of, of what may go transpire during the event. We'll also have videos on our YouTube channel as well the next day. So, oh, yes, this very, week is so exciting. Very exciting we, times. Of course, we've got a lot of Star Wars <laughs> stuff up here to celebrate it. Definitely. I, I, I'm a little, you know, jealous because our producer, Matt, has already seen it. Yes, he has. He went to a special little mm -hmm. media That's okay. Screening. That's all right. We just got to wait a little longer and yeah. then... Well, his, his mouth is duct taped shut right now, so he can't spoil anything exactly. for us. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got some stuff, other Star Wars stuff to, that are not Star Wars, I should say, to talk about with News in the Queue. <laughs> First up this week, the Skipper Canteen Restaurant is now open at Disney's Magic Kingdom. The storyline of this Jungle Cruise theme restaurant says it's run by Alberta, granddaughter of Dr. Albert Falls, who established the Jungle Navigation Company in 1911. There are three dining areas, the Cruise Mess Hall, the Old Family Room, and Grandpa's Old Secret Meeting Room. The Jungle Skipper Canteen is open for lunch and dinner. They're not accepting reservations yet, but they should be soon. I've seen the photos uh, and I've seen some reviews of, of the food and, and the theming and so far it's almost unanimous and how much people are loving this place. I've heard nothing but good things. I haven't been seeing too many photos because I kind of want to see it for myself when I can go. Mm -hmm. But it's also nice at first that they're not accepting reservations, so you can just walk in. You can walk just walk in. right in without mm -hmm. the, yeah, worry about calling ahead of time. And I just love that there's a, a sit-down restaurant in Adventureland again using that veranda, which used to be a restaurant back in the day. So, And then the theming with the Jungle Cruise sounds really fun. Mm -hmm. The fact that they're throwing in little bits of, uh, of C, which was the Society of Explorers and Adventurers, which is... A, 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 clu a club that's been all over the parks around the world. Like, I know there's references to it in Tokyo, uh, D the Disneyland, the Old Adventures Club here. So this is, a, I guess, just a way to kind of create a, a, a cool little universe. Very cool. I, I like, like it. That. And right here you can see this is one of the uh, specialty souvenir mugs that they sell in the restaurant. Two different drinks come in this. Although I'm hearing right now, you know, it's so popular, it's already sold out. Don't wow. know when a new shipment will come in. But I really like this. It's... Nice and, uh, Ooh, nice and metal. Nice and sturdy there. Kind of looks like copper, but I've been hearing it's not actually copper, but mm. I, I like that. Nice and once again, theming. Love yeah, it. Very cool. Now, the Comedy Warehouse Holiday Special will be sharing Yuletide cheer and laughs once again at Disney's Hollywood Studios. The family-friendly improvisational comedy show returns to the Premier Theater, where performers take suggestions from the audience to invent festive poems, scenarios, songs, and stories. Each show is different with a new audience and new scenarios. There will be six shows daily starting this Saturday and running through January 1st. The show is included with park admission. Have you seen it any of the years that's been running at CBS? I have not. It's such a fun show. Yeah. I, and I, I got a couple friends that are performers in it and they're always hilarious. Um, of course, if you don't remember the old the Comedy Warehouse used to be a club mm -hmm. at Pleasure Island back in the day. So it's always great to see them continuing that legacy. Oh my gosh, of the, I love Comedy Warehouse. I love improv shows, so I'm sure this is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, if you get a chance, definitely check this out while you're at studios. Now, there's a new fragrance out that 
theme park fans will definitely recognize. Zyrena, an innovative LA perfumery, has released a new fragrance called Dark Ride. It's said to be reminiscent of an indoor theme park water ride. Hmm, the fragrance is available in both a perfume bottle and spray. For more information and to order, visit Zyrena.com. That's X Y R N. R E N A dot com. <laughs> I don't know the, how I feel about this. This is this is odd. It is a little odd. If I just like you smell me, you're like, hmm, you smell like Splash Mountain. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I smell, I smell, that's a pirate smell. Yeah. <laughs> there is, especially with Disney water rides, especially pirates have distinct smells when you're in there. I do think there are rides that have some fantastic smells. If they made an ET one. Oh. I'd buy that. The line queue of E.T. Yes. I'd buy that perfume. Yes, yes. Oh, what was the, there was a, a 3D show that has an, oh, oh, Philharmagic. The, oh, the, yes. The rose, oh. Mm -hmm. Love that smell. I don't know if I want a Pirates of the Caribbean <laughs> fragrance all over me. Oh. Who knows? Maybe. Ooh, 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 what about Burning Rome and, and, and Spaceship Earth? Mm -hmm, the, yep. That fragrance, that will definitely win over <laughs> all my friends. <laughs> Finally this week, the winter issue of Attractions Magazine is now available. Highlights include a Q&A with the reference model for Tinkerbell. The story and history of the Osborne family spectacle of dancing lights. A cover story about the many new Star Wars attractions at Disney's Hollywood Studios, which you'll see later in the show as well, and much more. You can order your own copy in print on the Nook and in our iPhone and iPad app. Print subscribers should receive their copy between now and January 15th. I mean, we talked about it at the top of the show, Star Wars, this is the time Huge. of year with episode seven, and this is a big deal. So of course, all these new uh, experiences they're debuting at studios and as well as Disneyland, it's, it's just. Absolutely, Star Wars has definitely taken over. For, I was just reading something that was like, they, they make Star Wars oranges and Star Wars apples and... It seems to be Star Wars is the Frozen, is now Frozen this year with, the, with how much is out there yeah, for it. maybe even bigger. Do you have a favorite thing that you've done of the new Star Wars stuff at the studios yet? Um, I think meeting Chewbacca. Because <laughs> um, the line was too long for Darth Vader, so I haven't met Darth Vader yet, but I wasn't expecting him to... to talk to me. <laughs> right, right. They'd be growling to you. Yeah, and, growling and you just to have me. a conversation with them. It was it's really neat. It such was, a unique... Mm -hmm. Way do you meet Darth Vader? It's very intimidating. Yeah. Oh, uh, I, I'm sure I'd be a little scared. Oh, <laughs> and you have a right to be, because, yeah, yeah he, he can be a little scary. Mm -hmm. Hi, everybody. It's Hidden Mickey of the Week time. Let's go to Disney Springs. A lot of things going on out there, but go to the World of Disney Store. On the Genie Room walls, antique looking maps on wood panels painted to look like tapestries have land masses that resemble the side profiles of Mickey Mouse, Winnie the Pooh, Goofy, and possibly Donald Duck, although Donald is a bit of a stretch. Fun Spot America. More thrills, more value, more memories. Now's the time to ride Orlando's only wooden coaster. Go on the Freedom Flyer. Drive the elevated go-kart tracks. We've got the all-new Screamer. Also new, Water Wars. New games like Transformers and Dirty Driving. Visit Gator Spot and see more than 100 live alligators. Less than half the price of the big parks, Orlando and Kissimmee. Come on out to Fun Spot, where it's huge. So here we are inside Gator Spot at Fun Spot America. We're holding a gator and a, a snake. I'm holding a gator. <laughs> and I'm holding a snake. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? <laughs> uh, guests, when you visit here, you can actually do this as well. So this is a unique opportunity. Uh, so hey, you know what? The day has finally arrived and Star Wars The Force Awakens is finally here. I know, I'm so excited. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna see it as soon as possible. Yes, I've got my ticket for tonight. I wish I could fast forward time right now and go. <laughs> Since that's not possible, maybe this report from Jesse will quench your thirst for the force. <laughs> it's tickling my head. I'll try to keep my excitement contained right now because I don't want to make any silent movements. Do or do not. There is no try. The force is strong here at Disney's Hollywood Studios where I'm about to experience the launch bay and all the wonderful Star Wars experiences here.
I'm loyal to the rebellion, so it has to be Chewbacca. While you're waiting in line to meet the various characters in the launch bay, you can check out all the artifacts from the films. This one just so happens to be my favorite. It is all the lightsabers. I have to say I am a fan of Mace Windu's purple lightsaber. It is the strongest in the forest, if you ask me. question will arouse suspicion. Take care what you ask and to who. Do not underestimate our reach. If you betray us, we will find you. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Thanks. As you wish. <sighs> Outside of the meet and greets inside the launch bay, they also have costumes, props, artifacts, and things that were actually used inside the movies. You might recognize this famous ship. It is the iconic ship of Han Solo, but this one's a little different because of this little piece right there. That's the new satellite dish, so this is the new version of the Millennium Falcon. Let's look around and see what else is new. So this looks like this is Ray's things. Oh, I recognize that from the trailer. X-Wings, we saw those in the trailers too. Hero lightsaber, ooh, ooh, hero. Wait. A hero's lightsaber, I wonder who that hero is gonna be. What? Now to the dark side of things. So the First Order, this is a flame trooper. I think this is the first time we've, no, we saw them in the trailer too. They were in the trailer. Kylo Ren's lightsaber, the famous lightsaber. Probably the most popular toy right now, actually. And then the helmet, the bounty hunter. And don't forget when you're in the launch bay to always let the Wookiee win and make sure you step over here and get some blue milk. For all you Star Wars gamers out there, there's this awesome room full of all the latest Star Wars games. Here at the Launch Bay Cargo, you can create your own magic band, customize with your Star Wars favorites, phone cases, and all your wonderful Star Wars memorabilia. Over here, if you're a big, big fan, you can even take home your own Darth Vader costume. Make sure you check out some of these awesome Star Wars items that are popping up all over the park. <laughs> so here are some of the sweet treats you can grab while you're at the park. We have the chocolate Darth Vader cupcake, the German chocolate Chewbacca cake, my favorite, and the lemon BB-8 cake. I'm so excited to eat them.
behind me instead of the new Jedi training, where children will see if they have what it takes to face their fears and become Jedis. Star Tours and go to new destination. Oh, I'm so excited. Besides what you saw here today, there's so much more coming to Disney's Hollywood Studios for Star Wars fans, including fireworks starting December 18th. There has been an awakening. The next time you plan a Disney vacation, book with a travel agency that's been specifically designated as an authorized Disney vacation planner. Unlike some other agencies, many of our agents' exclusive knowledge of Walt Disney World can help you get the most out of your vacation, and the assistance of our travel professionals can help you get a customized Disney vacation that's just right for you, your family, and your budget. Start planning your magical vacation today by visiting mousefantravel.com. Skip the lines with undercover tourists, crowd calendars, touring plans, and mobile apps. Stop paying full price for your family vacation and visit Undercover Tours today. Alisa, do you watch Cake Boss? I've seen an episode here and there, but I know it takes a lot to make those cakes that they yeah, do. You got that right. And now you can try those cakes and more for yourself at the Florida Mall. Mm, that sounds delicious. Yep, and we sent Julie out on opening day to face the crowds. Who knew a bakery could be so popular? Hey everybody, we are here at the Florida Mall at the opening of Carlo's Bakery, owned by Buddy Velastro, TLC's Cake Boss. Hopefully we're going to get to try some things out, so let's head on in. As you can see, there are cupcakes, donuts, cookies, pastries. You have four choices of cannoli. Fifth, if you count, the cannoli donut. Beautiful. So they've got a lot of the different cake decorations on display so you can get an idea of what you could order. My ideal cake would be chocolate with the creamy cheese filling, strawberries, and then on top just put all of the insides on the outside as well so I can get as much flavor as possible. If you could smell what this bakery smells like right now, it's heaven. Buddy here, he's actually in the back right now, hands on, working on all of the treats. My favorite thing to do when I was a kid was sitting in the kitchen watching my grandmother making pastries, so this is great. Growing up in Pennsylvania, we had Patels at every family gathering. Do you yeah. have a family tradition that you want to share with us here in Florida? Well, I mean, for me, you just want to embrace all the different cultures. Because Florida is a melting pot too. It's so diverse and all the different people from all over the world who live here. So we want to be able to be part of every feast, whether it's for whether it's for Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or you know Easter or whatever whatever you're celebrating, uh, Ramadan. You know we want to be for everybody. We're not the kind of we we want to always be a big to share in the celebrations, to give you a taste of what we normally do. But we also want people to know that we want to, we're, we try to be very affordable. We want to be a big where you can come in and get a $2 cupcake, or you can buy a giant cake that's, you know, thousands of dollars. So we want to, we, we want to, I always want everybody to be able to shop and eat at my bakery. That was one of the things that I vowed, um, you know, when I became cake boss, that 
I wasn't just gonna like raise the prices and try to, you know, be like a food snob. I, I always wanted to remain humble and um, take care of the misses. about to try a lobster tail. This is one of their specialties. It's a flaky pastry. It's got a creamy cheese filling, and then there's a hint of Bailey's in there. I'm gonna need like 10 hours. This is amazing. I'm about to try a cannoli. This is actually my favorite pastry from when I was a kid. This one also has a creamy cheese filling and chocolate chips, and it is dusted with powdered sugar. It's perfect. Thanks, have you ever had one of these? No, I've never had, actually. Do you want to try? Yeah. This is so good. All right. Mm. It's like the best. Mm. Were we supposed to do anything else today? No, I don't think so. Just, okay. just the, oh. Just, mm. Like hours. I could just sit here for hours and eat this. Mm -hmm. mm. Heaven. Any more? Carlos Bakery is open every day here in the new dining pavilion at the Florida Mall. I definitely recommend the cannoli, but they've got all sorts of things if you want just a quick treat while you're shopping at the mall or something to take home for a family celebration. happenings around the world this week, many people are going to be excited to experience all the Star Wars they can. In addition to just watching the movies, as you saw earlier in the show, there are a lot of new Star Wars happenings here at Walt Disney World and at Disneyland in California. If you're planning on visiting for all the fun of the Force, just be aware that many, many other people have the same idea as you, so make sure you're prepared for long lines and big crowds. May the Force be with you. Tui, you got a quarter? I'm ready for light speed. Attractions Magazine is your guide to the world's greatest theme parks and attractions. Get the best information, photos, travel tips, rumors, interviews, and reviews from Attractions Magazine. Whether it's new, unique, big or small, or your theme park favorites, we cover it all in Attractions Magazine. Each issue features Central Florida's thrills and excitement delivered directly to your doorstep. Subscribe today at AttractionsMagazine.com. And now for this week's calendar. Frostival at the Orlando Eye continues all month. Starting this Saturday, many of Mickey's Very Merry Christmas party events, such as the Parade and Holiday Wishes, will be performed daily for all park guests. SeaWorld's Christmas celebration continues as well. Christmas Town at Busch Gardens proceeds the rest of the month starting tomorrow. And the Candlelight Processional resumes at Epcot with America Ferrera tonight. Chandra Wilson Friday through Sunday and Daniel Day Kim Monday through Wednesday. Now snowing and celebration will continue all month. And, and as do the holidays at Universal Orlando and Brickmas at Legoland. The Orlando Polar Bear Plunge is happening tomorrow at Gaylord Palms. And finally this week, Candy Space Center Visitor Complex's fourth annual Holidays in Space celebration begins this Saturday and runs through the third. Don't forget to subscribe to our calendar at attractionsmagazine.com to stay up to date on these events and more. Oh, also don't forget the, there's a, a, a little movie called Star Wars The Force Awakens coming out tom tomorrow. Just this little... You may have not have heard of it. Now, this week's shout out goes to Chloe and Derek. Thank you so much for being fans of the show. We hope you guys have fun celebrating your four year anniversary at the Osborne Lake. Mm -hmm. And now, as always, we want to thank MEI Travel, our preferred travel agent for cruises, Disney World, Universal, and all your other vacation planning needs. For a free quote with no obligation, visit MEITravel.com. And much thanks to Undercover Tourist, our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Orlando and California attractions. For more information, visit UndercoverTourist.com. And thanks to Fun Spot America, Central Florida's only family-owned theme park. They provide safe, clean fun in Orlando and Kissimmee. 
Visit fun-spot.com for tickets and more information. Remember, you can watch a brand new episode of the show each week on YouTube, Bright House Cable TV Channel 999, iTunes, and through the O-Town app on Roku and Amazon Fire. You can also visit attractionsmagazine.com for news and videos throughout the week and find us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Snapchat, and Instagram. If you enjoy our show, please support it by subscribing to our magazine through our website. All right, so next week, a week from today, Christmas Eve, what you got? You just uh, finished celebrating Hanukkah, so I did. How, how'd that go? It was really good. I had a great time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was kind of low key towards the last few nights, but we had our holiday party, the uh, Hanukkah party, the first night, so it was great. You have any uh, plans you're going to do for the next week to prepare for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day? <laughs> Working a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah, yeah. We're going to have a special Christmas episode next week. I'm working on uh, some special videos for that, so we'll show that to you next week. Mm -hmm. And, of course, go out there this weekend if you can. You can find tickets. Go see Star Wars. Enjoy it. Let us know what you think about the movie. We have a review on our blog right now. Spoiler-free, so don't worry. And I uh, can't wait to see what you say. Thank you so much for joining us, and we hope you'll tune in again next week. Until then, visit your local attractions. Try something new. Stay safe. But most of all, have, have fun. fun. much more being added to the Star Wars things to do here at Hollywood Studio. Yeah. <laughs>